Well, it's now time for the children's sermon. So there are any girls or boys uh, who are nearby. Now's a great time to bring them over to the screen and uh, so that they can participate in the service as well. Well, hey, boys and girls, it's good to see you today. Glad to be with you. Um, this particular day, of course, is Mother's Day, a day in which we celebrate moms. And, and I started thinking about all the ways that, um, all the different things in, in life that uh, make me think about my mom. And I'm not just thinking about pictures or little gifts, maybe, that my mom has given me throughout the years, but I was thinking more about some everyday things that make me think about my mom. For instance, um, did you know that every time I see a clock, it makes me think about my mom? Sure enough, because when I was little, my mom wanted to know where I was every minute of the day. Now, sometimes I thought that was a little annoying that I always had to check in with my mom, but it just meant she loved me and she cared for me and she wanted to know where I was. So she pretty much let me go wherever I wanted to in the neighborhood as long as I told her where I was every minute of the day. And, and that was important to her because, like I said, she didn't want me to ever get hurt. So a clock makes me think of my mom. Another thing that makes me think of my mom is inside this container, and it is an egg. That's right, an egg makes me think of my mom because for breakfast every morning, I would prefer to eat a donut, but my mom would make me eat eggs instead. Now, I like eggs. Um, I don't have a problem with that so much. I just rather have something sugar sweet, but my mom wanted me to eat something a little bit healthier, you know, with some protein in it. So, um, so we ate eggs instead of donuts. Why? because my mom loved me and she wanted me to grow up to be big and strong and, um, and to be healthy. So eggs make me think of my mom. Another thing that makes me think of my mom are books. This is a big book, this is a dictionary. And um, like I said, books make me think about my mom because when I got home from school each day, um, I had to do my homework before I could play video games. Now, I didn't like that. I wanted to play video games right away. But my mom wanted to make sure that I got my homework done, that I did well in school, and so she always made me um, do the homework first. Again, it's just a way of her saying that she loved me and that she cared for me and she wanted the best for me. And finally, the last thing that makes me think about my mom that I brought with me today is uh, dishwasher detergent. Now you may think that's really strange, but dishwasher detergent makes me think about my mom because my mom always made me clean up after myself. She made me clean my room, she made me clean up my toys, she made me um, help out in the kitchen, all of these things because it was important that I put things away, that I knew wh where everything was, that I didn't lose it, or that, um, and that I lived in a a safe and healthy place, and she taught me how to do chores. Again, she did this because she cared about me, because she loved me. Now, I didn't like having to do all those chores, but she knew what was best. Well, all of those things not only remind me of my mom, but it also reminds me of God. God gives us lots of rules. Um, sometimes I don't want to do them, but they're only there because God loves us and wants us to live a happy life and to take care of ourselves and that we would be healthy and happy. And so, um, so God put rules in place because he knows what's best and he doesn't want to see us get hurt. He doesn't want us to see us um, you know, lose our way in life. So um, just like moms, God too puts rules in our lives to help us, not to hurt us. And we need to be grateful for those rules. And, um, and just as we're grateful for moms. Let's pray. Holy God, we thank you for our moms and everybody who acts like a mom in our lives. Um, Lord, we need them. Um, we are dependent on them, just like we are dependent on you, God. And so we thank you for the different rules that you put in our lives that um, help us uh, to be better people. So thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.